why don't you go try it? Because you're gonna be so happy. It's gonna make my eyes pop and look bigger. I don't want it to look like a cartoon or anime face. You know, we could have our own boat, and that was always sort of a wish list. It was a dream in my, in my mind. Ever wondered how celebrities stay forever young? Well, it turns out that some take a detour to the plastic surgeon's office, even though they will never admit it, until their faces start telling the truth instead of them. From fashion icon Donatella Versace to Hollywood hotshot Zac Efron, here are some of the most famous celebrity plastic surgeries of all time. Simon Cowell, the man with the golden buzzers and sharp critiques, has never shied away from talking about his cosmetic adventures at the age of 65. In an interview back in 2022, Cowell himself admitted he went a bit crazy with the injectables, and ended up looking like something out of a horror show. He believed his face became too blotchy because of the constant Botox injection. At that point, he even promised the world, and probably himself, that he was officially done with cosmetic shenanigans. But you know how that goes. With some people, they can never just stop once they start. Cowell even claimed that his eight-year-old son, Eric, once took a look at him and burst into laughter once because of how swollen his face had become. It was then that Simon had tried to look at old pictures of himself. After seeing a picture of my before face, he said he couldn't even recognize himself. That should definitely be the point where you should put the needle down, don't you think? This next person on the list completely ruined her natural beauty. But before we look at that, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. Janice Dickinson. The self-proclaimed first supermodel, Janice Dickinson, has been pretty upfront about her journey through the land of plastic surgery. And it hasn't been cheap. Back in 2013, things got a bit financially wonky for Janice when she declared bankruptcy, owing $1 million in taxes and cosmetic bills. Turns out that even supermodels have budgeting oops moments. Now at 68, Janice is like a walking catalog of cosmetic adventures. We're talking about breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and facelifts, liposuction, and a dash of Botox. So much that even her son Nathan, back in 2007, practically begged her to hit pause on the surgery train. Fast forward to 2015, Janice pops up on Botch to fix a 30-year-old breast enlargement that didn't quite work out the way she had hoped. The episode's a wild ride for sure. They're swearing, demanding drugs, and even a stroll in the butt after an implant swap. The experience with Janice was apparently so bad that Dr. Terry Dubrow crowned her his worst patient ever. Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley's name has been in the tabloids many times. First as the global sensation Elvis Presley's wife, then as her wild plastic surgery ride began in 2003. The tragic part is that an unlicensed doctor, Dr. Daniel Serrano, decided to play sculptor with her face. He ended up injecting some industrial low-grade silicone that mechanics use to grease car parts. Yep, you heard it right. Priscilla, at 77, went through a total face makeover. And not the good kind. Dr. Serrano Serrano, an Argentinian doctor who wasn't even licensed to practice in the U.S., did the deed. Priscilla's representative then spoke up about her experience in 2008. Sadly, Priscilla was one of the unlucky ones in Dr. Serrano's makeover spree. An investigation exposed his shady practices, leading to the doctor's lockup. Turns out, the Serrano guy wasn't just experimenting on Priscilla. He also dabbled in Lionel Richie's ex-wife, Diane Richie, and Larry King's wife, Sean King's faces. Serrano, who was only licensed as a nurse, got into hot water when his patients started complaining about lumps, paralysis, and craters in their faces post-injection. Until finally his patients had enough and an investigation was done until his arrest in 2004. Not only that, but fast forward to 2006 and Serrano found himself serving 18 months in prison after pleading guilty to conspiracy, smuggling, and using unapproved drugs. Even after going through such a terrible experience with a shady doctor though, Priscilla has owned her plastic surgery fails and is more confident than ever before. Joan Van Ark. Joan Van Ark, the star of Knott's Landing, who gained fame as Valene Ewing in the Dallas spin-off, made headlines in 2007 for a jaw-dropping transformation at a red carpet event. The once glamorous actress, now 80, appeared almost unrecognizable, sparking speculations about possible extensive plastic surgery procedures. Despite the noticeable changes in her iconic features, Joan, who has become more private in recent years, has never directly addressed the plastic surgery rumors. The dramatic shift in her appearance stirred up a buzz, leading to headlines suggesting that she may have ruined her looks with cosmetic procedures. Interestingly, around the same time as her 2007 red carpet appearance, Joan had just filmed a guest spot on the plastic surgery themed show, Nip Tuck. Reports revealed that she underwent extensive hair and makeup preparation, and she was said to have followed a minimal diet on the day of the event, consuming only water with honey and a banana. The behind the scenes efforts included spending four hours perfecting the lighting setup to meet Joan's perfectionist standards. If only her plastic surgeon had the same standards though, Van Ark wouldn't have ended up being 
on this list. Donatella Versace Donatella Versace needs no introduction. This Italian-style guru, who rolled into the late 90s like a chic tornado, gave Versace a whole new wardrobe and went down in history as one of the most iconic celebrities of all time. Now, she didn't just go through a fashion evolution, she went under the needle for some serious alteration. Turns out, being rich and famous can't save you from a lip job gone wrong and a Botox overdose. Donatella's face has become the ultimate hide-and-seek champ, thanks to her regular cosmetic rendezvous. Her skin was so shiny at one point, it was practically a Botox disco ball. Desperate for a fix, she went for laser skin resurfacing. And well, let's just say it backfired. The lines around her mouth and nose became as clear as ever. And those lips look like they've seen more action than a runway during Fashion Week. If you dare to Google her pics from 93, you'll think you'll stumbled onto a fashion time war because she looked so incredibly different back then. Rumor has it that Donatella was really into treating plastic surgery as if she was picking out new shoes or handbags. Just another accessory to add to her haute couture collection. Mickey Rourke Mickey Rourke's journey in Hollywood has been a roller coaster. It started with promise, got a bit bumpy, then took a detour through the land of questionable plastic surgery. You see, Mickey bursts on onto the scene in the movie Body Heat, and people soon began comparing him to acting legends like James Dean and Robert De Niro. In the 80s, Mickey was the epitome of the bad boy vibe on the big screen, but his days as the ultimate heartthrob died when plastic surgery entered his life. While many celebrities have gotten cheek upgrades over the years, Mickey's undoubtedly looked too swollen and badly placed. Add a bit of cheek implant in that, and you have yourself a facial structure that just looks off. In 2009, Mickey confessed that his looks took a detour because of some misguided guided plastic surgery adventures. He blamed most of it on boxing injuries, but quite frankly, it seems like he let the wrong person play operation on his face. In recent years, Rourke has also received plenty of Botox treatments and bizarre styling that practically erased the mysterious and good-looking boy everyone grew to love when he first became famous. Nevin Saganovic 53-year-old costume designer Nevin Saganovic is practically a surgery veteran with over a dozen procedures under his belt. Nevin was always head over heels for male Bratz dolls as a kid, to the point where he decided he wanted to become one. Not gonna lie, that's sure one way of taking childhood crushes to the next level. Now, Nevin's face has been through a lot. Nose jobs, Botox, cheekbone implants, fillers, you name it. He's tried it. It's like he's crafting his own masterpiece, one surgery at a time. But that's not all. In 2017, he rocked the headlines by revealing he got a permanent erection from the anesthesia during a nose job. Three months of unexpected party, and he had to undergo three surgeries to fix it. Who knew a nose job could come with such unexpected perks? At the time, though, even doctors couldn't pinpoint what exactly went wrong in Nevin's plastic surgery chronicle. Nevin later talked about his experience in an interview and blamed a food supplement, L-Arginine, for causing him to have an unexpected erection. He said he had read that the chemicals in it can help boost a man's sex drive. When he took the pill, though, he didn't know that it could have such dire consequences. He just used it to help at the gym. Well, guess the moral of this story is to always read the side effects of pills you take. Grace Lynn Wildenstein As crazy as Simon's journey with plastic surgery sounds, it can't be as bizarre as the one Joycelyn Wildenstein has had. Known as a Swiss socialite, the 83-year-old Wildenstein has turned head with her extensive plastic surgeries, earning her the nickname Catwoman for the feline flair of her face. It all started with an eyelid, done simultaneously with her then-husband, Alec Wildenstein. Little did she know that the procedure would spark an obsession that kept her on a constant healing journey, as spilled by a friend to Vanity Fair back in 1998. Despite the whole world speculating and reporting on the countless surgeries she supposedly supposedly undergone, Joycelyn has been the ultimate denier, waving away any suggestion that she's gone under the knife. As recently as 2018, Joycelyn told Daily Mail TV she has never even heard of plastic surgery. In an exclusive chat, this socialite, aka Catwoman, spilled the beans that her unique look traces back to her youth. When confronted about any surgeries, she insists that her facial features have changed only due to old age. Even fiancé, Lloyd Klein, chimed in to defend his partner. He apparently doesn't get why Joycelyn gets labeled as a Catwoman, because she's always looked like that. He also claims to have pics of Wildenstein from when she was 16, and he thinks she's a spitting image of today. Linda Evangelista In 2016, Linda Evangelista, 58, decided to give cool sculpting a shot for a sleeker look. This FDA-approved procedure freezes fat cells, but for Linda, it turned into a nightmare. A rare reaction called paradoxical adipose hyperplasia made things go south. Instead of getting smaller, the treated areas swelled up. Linda shared on Instagram about developing bulges all over her body 
leaving her unrecognizable. Speaking to People in 2021, the ex-runway star spilled the tea on feeling like she was losing it when growths popped up on her chin, thighs, and bust. She confessed to dreading running into someone she knows after decades of being a catwalk sensation. The former supermodel spilled her heart out, saying she couldn't even face herself in the mirror anymore because it didn't look like her. Linda's identity as Linda and Velagista supermodel seemed to disappear due to the condition. After two liposuction surgeries and six years in hiding, Linda decided enough was enough. She declared she was done living in shame and made a comeback on the cover of British Vogue's September 2022 issue. For the shoot, makeup artist Pat McGrath used tape and elastics to pull back her jaw and neck, camouflaged with scarves and hats. In her own words, Linda is still trying to love herself after battling depression after the faulty procedure. Using tape became her secret weapon to tackle insecurity and regain confidence in doing what she loves to do. Zac Efron From Disney to Hollywood's biggest screens, Zac Efron was known for his charm and good looks. But in recent years, a sudden change in his appearance has had everyone questioning what happened. The chatter started buzzing in early 2021 when fans did a double take, realizing Zac looked a tad different from his high school musical day. Twitter practically went wild when he dropped an Earth Day video and people couldn't help but notice the new face he was rocking. Come September 2022, Zac decided to say his part in all the speculation about his look. In an interview with Men's Health, he dropped the bomb. He had a bit of an accident. During an interview with Men's Health, the actor explained how he had slipped on a pair of socks while running in his home. The fall ended up being pretty bad because he smashed his chin into a granite fountain. According to Zach, his face went through a remarkable transformation because in the injury aftermath, the muscles inside his face and jaw decided to bulk up massively to compensate. After seeing all of this, would you ever go under the knife knowing you could come out looking like a Picasso painting? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe.